Let's imagine I'm a developer. I'm in GitHub for this demo, but the flow would be the same in GitLab and Bitbucket. The first thing I want to do when testing a pull request that someone else created is to check out the code and set up the various tools I need to do in order to do the review. With this demo of Spring Plet Clinic, that would include things like Java, Maven, Spring Boot, a JetBrains IDE, the list goes on. With Gitpod, all I need to do is click a button. Gitpod takes that pull request code and sets up a developer environment automatically. Today, I'm going to do the demo with JetBrains IntelliJ IDEA, but Gitpod is very flexible with options for VS Code or even direct terminal access. You can configure larger workspace classes, which can be useful for bigger applications. Once I start a workspace, I'll get prompted to open JetBrains Gateway. I can install the JetBrains Gateway easily via JetBrains Toolbox. When the workspace loads, I'm then redirected to the JetBrains Gateway Thin Client. Licenses for workspaces opened via JetBrains Gateway are handled similar to regular JetBrains products. The license is detected from your account and will allow you to use the IDEs that are included in your subscription. Once Gitpod opens, I've got a fully running application and complete dev environment that includes everything that I need to work on this pull request. The web server running on port 8080 is even opened for me automatically. Notice how the code had already been compiled and dependencies downloaded when the dev environment was opened. That's because of Gitpod pre-builds. Think of pre-builds as a continuous integration system, but for developer environments. When a code change happens, Gitpod recognizes the change and pre-builds the dev environment behind the scenes. Maven can download as much as it needs before you even open the workspace, saving a lot of waiting time. But how does all of this get created? There is a YAML file that lives alongside the source code. Traditionally, this would be an outdated readme that you would then need to follow to the letter. So think of this YAML file as replacing that readme with a machine readable version. In that file, the team can provide tools that must be available by providing a Docker image. For example, these tasks can let you curate what happens in a workspace opens, and these scripts can be specified to also run as part of the pre-build. We can also specify the plugins that we want to install in our workspace. We can see the JPA Buddy plugin is now installed as in the plugins on the host. Because I'm running a local IDE connected to a remotely running server, Gitpod automatically forwards the port so I can access my application using localhost 8080. If you want to change those settings, you can find them both on the terminal view and in the ports view in the backend control center. There's also a set of quick actions that you can take from the control center, such as stopping, snapshotting, or extending your workspace timeout. I can work with a pull request like this without changing the state of whatever else it is that I'm working on. I can have multiple workspaces open in multiple windows. Each environment is self-contained and doesn't interfere with any other workspace. On any given day, most engineers might have three or four workspaces running in parallel. If needed, in addition to opening workspaces from the browser, I can also start workspaces directly from JetBrains Gateway. Finally, let's look at the dashboard. This is where any member of your company will go to start their day or do administration tasks, such as adding users to the organization. The members page is where we have a list of all the users in the organization, along with their status as member or owner. The workspace list shows your currently running workspaces. These are your personal workspaces. Workspaces are rendered inactive after 24 hours, but can be re-enabled with a click of a button. Engineers can also start a workspace from within this UI. They can select specifics like the ID they want to use or the resources that they need. And that's it for this quick demo today.